So let's do a few more advanced videos. I apologize for making like a huge long video with a bunch of stuff, but honestly, whew, it's a little buggy and it's a little complicated and I'm doing the best I can in August, 2018 with this Gutenberg update. So let's go to a few different blocks. You can see common blocks, audio gallery, two or three more images. It's kind of nice. A cover image, let's click that. Cover image, let's go with the kids again. Uh, or no, let's go with my friend Mark. Here's Mark. Boom. A cover image I can write a title on. This is Mark. That's kind of cool. We'll see what that looks like. Preview really quick. Come down here. This is Mark. That's kind of nice. A little cover image. Let's move on. Different. Go to uh, comment blocks. Cover image, gallery, file, audio. These are pretty straightforward. We've covered most of these. A subheading is like a different type of text that looks a little bit different. This is a subheading. I'd probably put this like after an H2. This is an, uh oh, why did it do that? I don't like that. There you go, click down here. This is an H2. I'm gonna make this into an H2. I'm gonna move it up. So this is a heading, this is a subheading. Come back down here, this is the paragraph. All right, let's see what that looks like. Preview. There's an H2, there's a subheading, this is a paragraph. That looks kind of nice. Nothing too fancy right there. Moving on, what else we got? Uh, common blocks. I think that's all the common blocks for now. We got most of that stuff. Cover image, you can add text over an image. That's pretty nice. Lists, of course, quote, image, paragraph, heading, gallery, multiple images, audio. Really don't know why you would do this other than embed some stuff, but you could if you had an audio file you wanted to put in media. Same thing with video. So inline elements, inline image. Let's just add that in, see what that looks like. Let's go with this like nice little t-shirt thing here. Boop, there we go. And I could just keep typing afterward. This is some more typing. I don't know, no, I don't know why you would necessarily want to do that, but there's an inline image for you. <laughs> it's a little odd looking. Hit enter, what's next? Inline elements, common blocks, formatting. Okay, this is some cool stuff. You can add different code in. For example, if you had like JavaScript, uh, something or another you wanted to put in there, you could do that. If you had a little JavaScript code to embed, you could copy and paste that like a ConvertKit form or MailChimp form or anything like that. That's how you do that. That's pretty straightforward actually. Nothing too complicated there. Formatting, there we go. Uh, pull quotes, again. You see it again. You see a lot of these are kind of repeated. Tables, pre-formatted. I actually tried this around the other day. I don't I don't know what this is. It just it looks different. I'm sure you can, um, you can see right here. It says add text that respects your spacing and tabs and also allows styling. So you can style in your CSS, I guess, and then put in the custom thing. I don't know why they would do that separate than a paragraph, but they did. This is some styling text. Don't know why, but they did. Again, you press enter and it doesn't go to a new block. Sometimes each block is different. It's kind of weird. Um, verse is literally the same thing again. A haiku, it just makes it look different. This is a verse. This is verse two. This is verse three. And we'll see what that looks like here in a second. Oh, I don't know why it doesn't go to a new block automatically. Let's save that and you can preview those little things down there. Whoop. So you can see the verse. My theme is just making it a different font. This is like my normal paragraph font up here, as is this. This is some styling text. Again, I guess you could, I don't know why they did that separate for now, but that's what they did. Verse, again, just made to look different. I'm sure you could look up what classes WordPress has this as, Gutenberg has this as, and update them. WP block verse is a class name where I could uh, style that a little bit differently with custom CSS. Move on. Keep talking here, formatting. Uh, I think that's all I got. Classic, oh, this is an important one. Are you ready? Keep listening. Classic, this is the old editor. Look, that's the old WordPress editor, yay! You can do anything you want here. Drop downs for heading H2, H3, which by the way, if you do this, this is an H3 special, I misspelled special, special one. And then this is a paragraph, all right. Moving on, I'll say I move on. If I go back and check my content layout now, I don't think this is gonna be here. Nope, it's not there. It has all the H2 blocks, the H3 blocks. It does not have this classic block. This is the classic WordPress editor where you can do a few different things right here. 
this is not included for now in the document outline. It's kind of weird, but that's what the classic block does. Pretty handy. Again, you can come in here and edit HTML as well, I believe. Edit as HTML. I could put my fancy div in here. Div class equal fancy. Come down here, end my div, done. Go back to edit visually. Come back in here, edit HTML, make sure it kept it. Yep, we're good to go. And again, you can kind of toggle the views back. There we go. All right, so that's the common block. That's kind of handy in case you want to do things quite like the old ones. Formatting, layout, again, page breaks. This is actually pretty advanced. I wouldn't suggest many people doing this, but if you were to add a page break block in, it would be blank. It just says page break right now. When I update this, anything below this page break is actually on a different page. Like there would be a link down here that says page one, page two. And you'd have to click through. It would reload the page. It would say like post 61, page two or something like that. It's kind of handy if you want to have multiple pages in like the same blog post. But for me, it's actually kind of annoying. I'm going to remove it for now. Uh, columns is kind of experimental right now in WordPress. Where are we here? Layout elements. Uh, oh, by the way, you can do a button. The separator, a spacer was actually pretty cool. Um, a more tag, like a read more thing that exists in the old classic WordPress uh, editor, etc. Columns is a little bit funky right now. It doesn't work on my theme. I would love to show you. I show you the editor. This is column one. This is column two. I'm going to save and preview and let's see if it works. Right now it's not working on my theme. Maybe it works on yours. I don't know. Oh, it is working. Okay, great. It wasn't working the other day like a week and a half ago. <laughs> Maybe it got updated. Uh, okay, cool. So there's columns. That was pretty easy. Moving on. What's next? Come down here. There we go. All right, let's move on to custom blocks after this. By the way, widgets, short code. This is how you add in short code now. Or you can just copy, you can usually just paste it in, by the way, and it'll convert into a short code block. Uh, you can add in some archives, some categories, latest comments, stuff like that. Embeds. Again, you can usually just paste and it'll convert automatically, but in case you want to, you can come in here and choose separately. I don't know why you would, but you could. Uh, let's go with something different like cloud up. I don't even know what cloud up is, but you could do that. Cloud up URL, embed, done. Or you can just go to cloud, uh, uh, get your URL, come paste it in here, and more than likely it's gonna convert into one of these cloud up blocks. And again, you got your different settings over here, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Last thing I really want to talk about is customized blocks. These are going to be like reusable chunks of code. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I love this feature. Let's say I want to have a conclusion block. I'm say conclusion and then enter. This is a custom block conclusion. Um, okay. So Actually, I can't do both of these because WordPress won't let me. Hopefully this is coming soon, but <laughs> let's just do this one paragraph block for now. Um, let's make it medium large, large right there. Drop cap, color settings. Let's go with my custom, do you even blog blue? Ooh, that looks a little funky with that drop cap. Let's turn that off. And let's go with the text of like gray. This is a custom block. All right. That looks pretty nice. We could also customize any of the rest of this if you really wanted to. And then, okay, I want to save this for the future. So I don't have to come in here and edit it every time. I'm gonna add a custom class, like custom, uh, go over here, add to reusable blocks. You see, I did the little drop down block settings right here. Add to reusable blocks. It'll allow me to put in a name, also custom conclusion. Hit save. And now we should be done. I'm actually gonna save the draft just to make sure I have it. So if I actually come in here, add a new post, post number two, this is an intro. And then I want to add my custom, I'm just gonna start typing in to search for it. Custom HTML, custom block, custom conclusion. Look at that, boom. One thing that uh, Gutenberg lacks at the moment is the ability to just type right here and start editing. I'm typing right now, it's not doing anything. I have to actually convert this to a regular block. I have a feeling this will go away. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, once Gutenberg is already released, you won't have this problem. But for right now, if you're trying it out, you have to convert to regular block. And now I can go in there and uh, update. That is a custom block conclusion. 
And you can generally do this with just about any type of block. Like if you have a paragraph, this is what I did right here. I just updated a paragraph block. I could do the same thing for a heading. I could change this to an H4. I'll say I want all my H4s to be blue. That's actually the way I have it on my main blog, doyouevenblog.com. Uh, come in here, you notice I can't change colors in the heading settings right now, but I could add in a custom CSS and say blue. And then in my custom CSS, I would have to add, you know, I'd have to define that. But I could do that and then do add reusable blocks, custom blue H4, save. And then let's say I type it out something and I come back and I'm like, oh, you know what? I wanna add another blue H4. I could just search, I'm just gonna say blue. Blue, custom H4, and then boom, it's in there. Now I'm gonna click this, and I come over here, it says reusable block. I have to convert back, I don't know why. Convert to regular block, advanced, blue. Okay, so you can see it saved that setting. That's what reusable blocks are. That's it, and you can do that with images with a specific setting, you want them a certain size, or alignment, or whatever, you can do that. So you don't have to finagle with the savings anymore. Uh, colors, custom CSS classes, pretty much anything you can think of. Code, like if you want a custom code for, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you have, you added this, custom HTML, I'm a div class equal uh, blue, P. This is some blue text or something like that. I could do add, reuse, let's do, custom HTML blue paragraph. Hit enter, it saved it. Come down here, this is regular text. And for this, I want to have custom, oops, custom, what did I do? Custom HTML blue paragraph, boom, right there. I'm gonna convert it to normal lock, and there we go. There it is, all right. That's one really this super long, and <laughs> complicated, and somewhat clunky and frustrating video that I made for you guys. If you have any questions, comment below this video. I'll be happy to look in and dig in, no matter when you see this video, by the way. So this is August 14th, 2018. Gutenberg is not standard yet with WordPress. It's just a plugin. Currently working out bugs, as you've seen in this video. But no matter when you're watching this, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to dig in, answer them the best I can, et cetera, et cetera. I hope just watching me navigate this process can help a little bit. Again, there's still a lot of functionality that's missing, like the ability to click this and drag where I want it. It's a little bit annoying, I can't do that. It should, it's a block, it should be able to be draggable. Maybe it will be in the future. Right now I just move it down. Um, but I hope that helps. That's it, we'll see you in the next video. I wanna talk specifically about how your plugins are going to function in Gutenberg, specifically plugins that showed up down here in the meta boxes and stuff with shortcodes. We're gonna talk about that in the next video.